Thus, once again, you're welcome to Better Faith e-learning platform. My name is Mrs. Eunice Egwasa, and this morning I'll be teaching you social studies for basic three and primary three classes. Please settle down to learn. This morning we are looking at the topic agricultural technology. Agricultural technology. Traditional agriculture. First of all, what do you understand by the word agriculture? Agriculture. Agriculture is the cultivation of crops and rearing of animals for man's use. Agriculture involves cultivation of crops and rearing of animals for man's use. So what is agricultural technology? Agricultural technology is the new modern methods which people use for crop production and animal rearing. Agricultural technology is the new me modern me methods which people use for crop production and animal rearing. When you talk of agricultural technology, we are talking of the new method, the recent method, the newly improved method which people use for the cultivation of crops and rearing of animals. Traditional ways of cultivating land. Traditional ways of cultivating land. The traditional ways of cultivating land is the old method of cultivating land, is the usual method of cultivating land, is the use of simple farm tools like your hose and cutlasses for cultivation of crops. And usually it is used when the farming method is for subsistent farming. That's farming for the family. So in traditional farming system, farming is done with the use of simple farm tools like the hoes and cutlasses. What are the advantages of traditional farming? What are the advantages of traditional farming? Number one, the tools are easy to use. In traditional farming, the tools are very easy to use. Take for instance, the use of holes, the use of cutlasses. You don't need, you don't need to, to use manuals for that. You don't need to have a, a, an extra knowledge on how to operate the hole or the cutlass. It's a very simple uh, farm to which anybody can use. So the tools are easy to use. Anybody can make use of the farming, uh, farm tools under the traditional farming system. Number two, number two advantage, production of food for family consumption. Enough food is being produced for the family's consumption. Whatever you are doing, whatever you are doing on the farm is for you and your family. So enough food is being produced for family consumption on that traditional farming. Because your major aim is to produce crops for your family's consumption, not for sale. Number three, the farm tools are not expensive to afford. The farm tools are very cheap to afford. One can easily get a cutlass, get a hole to use, unlike machines that you have to pay so much for. So the farm tools are very cheap to afford. They are not expensive at all. Number four, labor is cheap as well. The labor, the strength, the people that does the work, the energy to do the work is cheap in the sense that uh, siblings, your siblings can help you to do the work, your parents can do the work, your uncles, your aunt, family members, anybody can be asked to do the work because it is what a traditional farming system. So on the traditional farming system, the labor is quite cheap. Anybody, any member of the family can assist in the farm. The feeding of animals costs nothing. You don't have to spend extra money to take care of animals under a uh, traditional farm system. Because most times the animals feed on the foliage, they feed on the, the, the waste materials that you have uh, extracted from the house. Things you don't need anymore. You give it to the animals 
to feed on because it's a traditional method. So feeding of animals costs nothing. It's very easy and cheap to feed animals when you're doing animal rearing. When you're taking care of animals, you don't have to spend extra money to buy special, any special food for the birds or for the animals. This disadvantages of traditional farming. So what are the disadvantages? Because whoever has advantage also have disadvantage too. Number one, low productivity. Remember the use of simple uh, farm tools. You, with the use of uh, simple farm tools, you cannot produce much because it is your energy that comes to play. The use of simple farm tools cannot uh, allow farmers to produce so much because all they can do is to produce for their family's consumption. So it is a disadvantage because of low productivity. Farmers that make use of a traditional farming system, they are not able to produce so much as to be able to uh, enough for their own consumption and to also sell. Number two, pests and diseases attack. Pests and disease easily attacks uh, crops and even animals under traditional method because the farmers do not know the, the, the new method, the scientific method of taking care of crops and animals in order to avoid the invasion of uh, pests and diseases. And even if the diseases are, uh, they don't know the preventive method and they don't know how to also cure it. For instance, there are some things they would have done or added to their crops in order to have, avoid uh, pests from getting into the, the crops or the farmland. And there are things they can also do if paraventure the, uh, the, the crops are being invaded by pests and diseases. So these things are lacking under uh, traditional farming system. So it's a big disadvantage. And because of that, their crops are being consumed and destroyed by pests. So lack of proper storage systems, another major problem. The little they are produced, they are unable to store them for future use. So all they produce now, they consume now. So they don't have proper storage system. They don't know how to preserve or store these crops that they have produced for future use. Number four, the farmers cannot make enough money from the sale of their farm produce. The farmers cannot make enough money from their farm produce because what they have is just a little, not enough for themselves and for sales unlike the modern methods. It is energy sapping as well because whatever you have to do is from your energy. The traditional method is very, very tedious, very, very tedious because you have to use your energy. You have to put in a lot of effort, human effort, human energy. Everything you are going to do is by your power. So you see it is energy sapping and this is another disadvantage. So those are the disadvantages of a uh, traditional farming system. The next is the modern agriculture. Modern agriculture. So modern agriculture is the use of machines. The use of machines to carry out agricultural uh, exercises in order to maximize output, in order for you to get a lot and you don't have to stress yourself. So that is modern agriculture. The use of machines to carry out farming activities. For instance, land cultivation. Use of machines such as tractors. But under traditional, it is the use of holes and cutlasses. You can imagine what uh, the area of land cutlass can, can clear compared to the area of land tractors can work on. So you see, the use of machines such as tractors, plus and harrows are used on, for land cultivation under modern agriculture. Bush fallow or shifting cultivation is replaced with crop rotation. Bush fallow, that's under traditional system. Sometimes the, a particular area of land is left to fallow. That's leaving the land untouched in order for it to gain its natural nutrients for some years before coming back to it. Or uh, the, uh, the practice of shift, uh, shifting cultivation, which was uh, done in the, in the old or practiced by traditional uh, farmers. But with the advent of modern
modern agriculture, with the advent of uh, uh, use of machines, instead of doing that, uh, shifting cultivation is replaced with crop rotation. That is a changing of different types of crop. The flat plot will be rotated by another wall in order for the crop to regain its nutrient. So this was scientifically uh, worked upon and it has been proven to be very, very effective for land cultivation. Also, the use of fertilizers, which helps to improve the, the produce from the, fa the, the farm, unlike the traditional method, which was not there. B, keeping animals and birds. Before the advent of modern agriculture, in traditional practice, birds are just left to you know, be on their own. They, they don't uh, bother to take care of these birds. They don't bother to give them uh, food to improve their growth and production. But under modern agriculture, the use of pens and paddocks, animals are not just allowed to to be on their own, but they are kept in pens and paddocks. Birds are kept in libraries and well taken care of by veterinary doctors or veterinary uh, health officials, unlike the traditional method. The fish farming, use of fish ponds where fishes are fed fish marsh. Fish ponds where fishes are being fed with fish marsh unlike the traditional method, which was not uh, like this. Fishermen use trawlers to crop or harvest fish from big seas, unlike the traditional method, where this is not being practiced. So what are the, disad uh, the advantages, the, the advantages of modern farming? Number one, farming becomes easier and interesting. Farming becomes easier and interesting because you don't have to uh, use your energy. It's not energy sapping, so you, it becomes so easy when you don't use too much of your power, but you just operate machines. Machines assist you in the work. You only have to supervise or control the work. Increased productivity. The use of machines increases productivity in the sense that machines can do a lot of work compared to uh, human beings. The use of machines saves labor. You don't have to put in your, your strength. You don't have to use your strength. All you need to do is to press the necessary or the right buttons for these machines to carry out the activities. So what are the disadvantages of modern agricultural, agricultural practice? Number one, difficulty in operating machines. Most of these farmers are illiterate. So they, they, are, they are not educated. They cannot read. And because of that, they cannot read the instructions on the manuals of these machines. So because of that, they cannot make you proper use of the machines. Number two, it is capital intensive. These machines are very expensive to afford. So not all farmers can actually afford them. Number three, the spare parts may be difficult to get. When uh, sometimes after use, these machines can, you know, start uh, having fault. And when there is fault with these machines, to get the spare parts may be difficult to get. And therefore, it will cause uh, total uh, uh, discard of the machine. Number four, it leads to unemployment. Unemployment. The work that humans would have done, machines are now the ones doing it. So humans are no longer uh, needed for the work. Just few persons. Take, for instance, the work that 10 persons would have done, one or two machines can do it. So the remaining eight or nine persons becomes unemployed. That's they don't have work to do anymore. That is a disadvantage. Continuous use of machines to till the soil can destroy the soil. When the, the machines continuously till the soil, they will destroy the, the soil structure and therefore making the soil to be unfertile for crop production. So these are some of the disadvantages of modern and cultural practice. For your practice exercise, please answer this question. Number one, what is modern agriculture? Number two, you have to list two disadvantages. Two disadvantages. Sorry, you have to list two disadvantages of traditional farming. List two 
disadvantages of traditional farming. Number three, you have to state two advantages of modern farming. Please practice these questions, read your books and stay blessed. Bye for now.